Yes, people, what's going on? Welcome to Stretford Paddock. I am Adam McCola, and this is your latest Manchester United news brought to you by Paddock, usually from outside Old Trafford. But as you can see, I am not at Old Trafford today. I've also got the benefit of having all my hair, which is half decent as well. Now, I am still, I don't know what's going on. I haven't got COVID, so don't panic. But whatever it is I've got, I just can't shake it at the moment. And I start feeling better, start feeling worse, up, down, up, down, up, down, like a roller coaster. And to be honest, a few of these stories have made me feel worse today because it's the same old, same old. It feels like the last time I did the news was probably in the transfer window. And here we are again. We are talking defensive midfielders and potentially Wilfred and Dede joining Manchester United. That would be nice, wouldn't it? But I wouldn't hold my breath on that one. Donny van der Beek, apparently, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer knows what to do with him, has got the perfect spot for him in his squad, and all these things, I just don't believe that anymore. Um, we're talking about criticism to Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's co coaching staff. Um, let me get my words out. We're also looking at some news on Jesse Lingard, and of course, Rafael Varane and Harry Maguire's fitness updates too. So keep it locked for all those things here on Stretford Paddock. Make sure you're liking the video, commenting, sharing, and of course, subscribing to keep up to date with everything that we are doing here on the channel. And thank you very much for getting involved. Now, first, look, let's get this one put to bed like Jay Holiday, because I'm sick of it. I want to see evidence that things are changing. I don't want to just hear that things might be changing because we heard Ali speak positively about players that were eventually sold, just like Alexis Sanchez, Chris Smalling, Ashley Young, etc. Now, Donny van der Beek, for me, hasn't been given enough of an opportunity at Manchester United, especially when you see some of the performance that we see served up in Manchester United's midfield on a week-by-week -week basis. So the fact that he isn't given more game time, for me, is baffling and is a head-scratcher. But we hear in The Athletic that van der Beek, who has struggled, Solskjaer is still confident he can be a good asset for the club. That despite there being concerns existing behind the scenes whether the Dutchman can handle life in the Premier League. Um, with the January transfer window creeping closer, United are tipped to sell van der Beek. Juventus have been linked, especially with the old lady looking increasingly likely to offload Aaron Ramsey. Barcelona have to, even if the Catalan giant's financial situation may make a deal difficult to broker. It's not like Donny van der Beek's price is going that way, is it? It's not going up. The only place Donny van der Beek's price is going is down. Um, I refuse to believe Ole Gunnar Solskjaer sees the players for him in his team or is confident that he can... Look, I think his mind's made up and that's why he's not picking him. Um, you know, we see other players perform or perform badly, like... I'm not, you know, you know, we go, people go on like Van der Beek stinks the place out every time he plays. He doesn't. And I can think of a lot of stinkers in our midfield, to be totally honest with you. Performances from loads of different players. Even Pogba's had stinkers in midfield. Like, how this guy isn't getting game time baffling to me. Really is baffling to me. Um, but that's just my opinion anyway. Um, we also hear in The Athletic... Um, I think this has all come from the same article this morning. There's a big article in The Athletic, part of it, opinion piece. And then you've got some insight into what's potentially going on behind the scenes. And we hear sources close to senior players at Manchester United reportedly feel that the team could do with more experienced coaching figures leading Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's training sessions. So that isn't Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. That's the likes of Kieran McKenna and Michael Carrick. And... There's some praise for Michael Carrick and Kieran McKenna in this article for things that they do or say or how they're regarded. But ultimately, and I think it alludes to the fact with Kieran McKenna that despite how good he can be, when it comes to the crunch, maybe, they're not quite impactful with the squad that they have and the players that we have. And I think this fits in with something that might have been Paul Parker the other day. Um, who was mentioning that United should go out to get Rennie Mudenstein in the coaching staff. Look, I, I wouldn't be against that at all. It's clear that some sort of fresh idea, fresh approach is needed. Um, of course, we have got this far with this team. And I think 
Ali Gunnar Solskjaer and his staff have obviously improved us and have taken us forward. But you hit a ceiling, you hit a level. And with the squad that we've built, with the likes of Ronaldo and Varane coming in, I think you need to step things up again. So there's no harm in trying to improve things at Manchester United. Um, and I think it's clear that maybe we still do need to tinker with things and improve things a little bit more. Fergie was great at doing that, just bringing in someone to just help a little bit with maybe a fresh idea or fresh ideas on the coaching pitch. There's no harm in trying that. But there is criticism for uh, the coaching staff today and there's a few bits floating around online. So go check that out. Interesting stuff though. We also hear Man United are prepared to sell Jesse Lingard for just £15 million in January if the midfielder refuses to sign a contract extension. Jesse Lingard's going to be interested in waiting to the end of the season. Why should he sign a contract now? United haven't played him that much. He signs a new contract, he ties himself down to a, a longer term deal at United. They can then have much more of a say on where he goes, whether it be on loan or permanently. Whereas if he runs his contract down, he gets one extra season at Man United and he gets a free move at the end of it where he will be very, very well off at the end of it because of signing on fees and all those kind of things go to him. There's no transfer fee. A club can pay a little bit more in wages or whatever. So I can't see Jesse Lingard signing a contract. And if that's the case, maybe he will leave in the summer. But again, it's like, we don't seem to be proactive in dealing with these things and thinking, look, Jesse Lingard's leaving. We need to deal with this, get a buyer last summer or whatever. Strike with the iron tuck. We don't seem to do that. And it seems like some of Manchester United's old problems in terms of renewing deals. We saw with Herrera, he went on a free. Or finding the right time and the right price to sell someone. We seem to be missing that and just not quite hitting the note. Look, I love Jesse Lingard. Glad for him to be at Manchester United in the squad. But United should have dealt with this by now. Should have dealt with it by now. Simple as that. Look, we got one more story for you guys on Rafael Varane. We have heard this week that Harry Maguire has been back in training, but it hasn't been full contact training. So fingers crossed for him against Leicester on the weekend, but if he's not in full contract training by to you know tomorrow is he going to be fit for the weekend maybe not so we hear that about harry Maguire, but we also hear about varan um and there have been concerns at old trafford this article says about his availability for the weekend clash against leicester the man united summer signing underwent initial tests before making a trip to england and early signs suggest he is unlikely to be able to play against the foxes that's according to Lekeep on Tuesday, who said a player is set to go more tests than his return to Man United after a right adductor injury was found. However, the first clinical examinations indicate Solskjaer will be without Rafael Varane for at least a few days. So Rafael Varane, Harry Maguire, both could be out of that game against Leicester City on Saturday. Oh, God. We could be back to Bay and Lindelof at the back. Which, to be fair, there'd be no excuse. Because there's, we've paid £60 million for them too. We know Bay loves playing against Vardy. But no Varane. No Champions League Varane. And no Harry Maguire to boot. Got some tricky fixtures coming up as well. We need to put in some performances, otherwise this is going to get messy, man. Oh, I'm not talking Lionel. So there you go, guys. That has been the news. Apologies if it seemed like I've rambled on a little bit, but yeah, not a lot to be positive about this morning. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Make sure you like and comment and share it and subscribe it to keep it like the Stratford Paddock. And until next time, I've been Adam McCola. I'm out of here.